have you ever woken up in the morning on a morning you had plans and it was raining and you're like oh, let's just not go do it it's gonna be miserable and then later the weather like perked up and got amazing and you missed it because you were like lazy and in bed because it was raining that's us this morning yeah check out this weather not raining not raining not and raining. pretty <laughs> and it's supposed to be good enough later so we are attempting to repent and to go and try and do our activities anyway. The problem is we want to go hike Delicate Arch and had we left when it was raining this morning, we would have gotten there right when it stopped raining and we probably would have got a parking spot, but parking spots are hard to come by uh, later in the day. And so we, holy bus, you go ahead. Wow, bus, he can't go. Well, <laughs> okay. I thought he was coming from my lane. We're in Moab and people here are crazy. <laughs> Well, Lots of it's, tourists. it's crazy here on the weekends too, yeah. so. And it's Saturday. It is Saturday. So we are possibly somewhat unintelligently trying to go hike Delicate Arch on a Saturday morning. And this was gonna work, had we gotten out of bed? And we're like, oh, let's not go do it. So we came up with an alternate plan and then it got beautiful and we're like, we're stupid. So we're trying to do it anyway. If not, we'll go hike something else uh, and enjoy our morning in arches. But um, anyway, it's supposed to rain a bunch uh, later today and as well tomorrow. So um, we will uh, we'll see how it goes. That'll probably end our our Moab trip on a wet note. But uh, we've had a good time, and hopefully we can resurrect this morning and get a good hike in. So that's the plan. We better get out of here. Why do we need to get out of here? Because it's going to rain a lot. Oh, no. We can handle the rain. Well, at least we get to go swimming later today. Yeah, that was plan B, huh? And and then we smushed it into plan A. And then we mushed it into plan A, B. Okay, so we're in line to get into the park. This is not boating well. <laughs> Forgetting a parking spot at the trailhead. We're gonna totally kick ourselves that way up there. Yeah, so here's the, here's the line up to the little entrance booth. The dumb thing is, is that they're doing construction at the trailhead to Delicate Arch, and so there's even less than normal. All right, we're driving through arches. We're almost to the parking lot. And way up there on the hill, Andrew pointed out, you can actually see it from the side view. Yeah, it looks like a hoodoo. Yeah, it does look like a hoodoo. Hoodoo, hoodoo you do? Do you hoodoo? So, what's the plan? Yeah, plan is so to try the main parking lot. If that doesn't work out, we're going to try the secondary parking lot. Coming up on the main one right here, I think. I see people. Oversized vehicle parking, Delicate Arch Trail parking. All right, let's, let's see if we can find a spot here. It looks pretty packed. It does look pretty packed. Oh my gosh. Let's go try. <gasps> What's the... <gasps> we can't go that way. Oh That's no. where the... Oh, crap. Our plan B not, might not work here. Plan A subtitle one. Oh man. Uh, we so should have got up this morning. Mm -hmm. We should have listened to that. Angle radio. Park when possible. We should not listen to our self doubt. Yeah, we should oh, we're not getting it. Oh, so we can do plan B. It just depends on how soon. Plan B.4. <laughs> Which is the plan again? Can we park along here? <gasps> we uh, totally can! Oh, there's plenty, there's of, parking, plenty of parking! Guys. Yay! We're getting in! Let's go hike to Delicate Arch! Look at this. So they say the parking's usually full by 9 a.m. It's 10.27. I... It, it was raining this morning. So yeah, I think it's because it was raining. So it might have delayed it a little bit. We're in. All right, let's park and get settled up so we can go. Everybody cheer, yay! One of the entertaining games that we play while we're hiking is shadow tag, where you basically have to get people's shadows when you're playing the middle. Got you. Ha 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 Anyway, we have lots of fun playing shadow tag. You can see way up there, there's a line of people that are Look like ants. Head up to Delicate Arch. They're climbing the mound of food looking for the cheese or something. And you're to be buddies with these 
Got your shadow. You know those ants earlier that we were looking at? We're now one of those ants as we trudge up the hill. Trail goes down there and over the parking lot. You can see over that direction. So we are now headed up the hill. If I remember right, it's been uh, it so a number easy. of years, 10 years maybe. 11 almost, something, over 11. My wife and I came here on our anniversary trip in 2013, so that makes it over 11 years. And we are headed up and over the hill, and then you kind of go around a little thing and you come to the Delicate Arch. Delicate Arch is actually on the edge of a bowl. Um, I'll show you when we get up there. But... So we're here at Delicate Arch with approximately one third of humanity. I joke, it's not that many people really. There's usually a lot more, but here's people waiting in the arch itself, which is really pretty cool. And then if we look back along the little scoop here, you see all the other people waiting. And a few souls that are wandering down in the bowl. There's kind of a bowl here right next to the arch. And that's that, but it turned out to be just a majestic day. I'm sure darn glad we got out, even though we were later than we planned on. It's working out really well, so. We are snacking on some hummus and some veggies and some, some stuff of other other snackage, but um, beautiful day, beautiful cloud. I don't know. Lunchtime. It's kind of lunchtime, so. But uh, I'm glad we got out. Part of the hike I was regretting having long sleeves, and part of it was just fine because of the cooler breeze, so that's just fine. But a lot of people out today, and uh, glad we resurrected our morning and uh, did it anyway. There's a bird coasting down in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right. Over you know, the, there. the bird's pretty awesome, huh? That is pretty cool. Uh, Andrew to the farm is somewhere up. A Andrew's, <laughs> you know, up there because that's what, that's what Andrew does. Is he finds high places to eat his lunch. So that's kind of funny. If you look over in the distance over there, you can see. Balance rock just barely over there, and then there, there, that formation over there is where like uh, double O arch and a couple others. No, it's not double O. It's, uh, double arch and double arch. And the windows are over there, and double arch is um, is where those are. So, oh, in fact, you can see one through the arch. Look, it's like archception. You got the arch, <laughs> the arch within and then an arch. a tiny little arch over there. There's an arch within the arch, apparently. So it's a good hike. It's everywhere. It's uh, it feels up, but it's not that much elevation, and you just can't take it slow. It's not very far. In fact, if you stand up and you stand in the right place, you can see the parking lot just right over there, and it's just, just not really far away. glad we came. Glad we got here. The way back down is always a little bit easier than the way back up, which is kind of nice as we're cruising back down the hill. You can see that big ant trail up there coming down. And now we're back. It's been really nice today to see so many kids out on the trail, which is something we don't normally see being out midweek. But it's uh, nice to see so many young kids out, and I appreciate that. I mean, we're out with our kids all a lot, but sometimes we're the only ones, and everyone else is looking at us a little strange. So, pretty nice to have that effect. Now we're just hiking over the, the lower section of the trail over here, back over the trailhead, and we've hiked Delicate Arch. We decided to go see the petroglyphs and the kids were all extremely excited. Oh, I'm not excited. Oh, I hear kind of a lot of whine, kiddo. Uh -huh. The rest of them are up there and we are headed for the petroglyphs. It's a small diversion. It's really funny though because there's a, it's a side loop to the main trail that's right by the parking lot. Whoa! And on the way in, nobody goes to see the petroglyphs first. Everyone goes to see the arch first and then sees the petroglyphs on the way back. So that's fairly entertaining. But we're going to go have a look-see and see what the prehistoric teenagers got in trouble for riding on the rocks. Look. Pictures. Riding horses and hunting things with horns because that's what you do when you're a youth, apparently. So we often get these go-go squeeze things for snacks. And one time Mama decided to be adventurous and buy this chia squeeze thing. This Mama Chia Feed Your Soul, which sounds a little gross. But um, apparently it tastes weird. So 
Mommy and I are going to try some here. Yeah. Daddy's never had one of these before. I've never had one. They've had I one have. Uh, so they're going to inflict it upon me. I have, and it's it, close it's to me. It's colored. It's seeds blackberry it. bliss. It's like two seeds and apple puree. and never tasted it. <laughs> it does taste like it doesn't taste like fish eggs. It's got a texture like, of fish eggs. It's got the, the texture of like fish eggs in a bag, which seems to me like a marketing problem. They would just call it like fish eggs in a bag, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, chia seeds are not my chia seeds, but 